Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Life is Strange True Colors. Alright, after we gave some hopefully good advice to Charlotte in the previous episode, I guess now we can look around um, her little shop for a while. And I suppose we will start by looking inside her head. Let's see, she's purple, so worried I suppose. She said it's not betrayal. Still makes me feel sick. <laughs> Same. But Gabe would understand. I'm sure he would. Also, it occurred to me that, you know, even if Charlotte takes the money and promises not to sue the company, it's not like nobody else could sue them, right? I mean, Alex lost a brother. I'm sure she would have just as uh, many reasons to take them to court than uh, Charlotte, so I think she should have the money and then someone else should just sue them so they uh, get some justice served, hopefully, at some point. But yeah, um, let's have a look at some of the stuff here. We got some pipes. Glass pipes are so cool. They're like works of art that can also get you high. <laughs> Alex approves. I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. Right, I still need to find him and talk to him. I see why Gabe was so in love with her. I'm always here for you, if you need anything. All right. Thanks. Back at you. Okay, what else do we got here? A pluck. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. <laughs> Impressive. Qual Feather Sanatorium. Built in 1919, the Qual Feather Sanatorium operated successfully until its closing in 1927. <laughs> that wasn't very long, though. <laughs> Under the guidance of Dr. Martin Kellogg, over 500 influenza and tuberculosis patients were treated and cured. Well, they're all cured. I mean, I'm pretty sure some also died. <laughs> but okay. Um, and hookahs. Ah. I've never heard that word before. I mean, I know what they are, but I only know, like, the German word, but I don't think I've ever heard the English term for this. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. Hm. I have no idea how expensive they are. Um, we got a bulletin board. I could totally paint that. I just don't want to. What is it? Mountain Walker. Renderings by Charlotte Harmon. Oh, it's one of her paintings. Please join us at 8.30pm on Saturday, March the 3rd, at the Paradox Gallery for an exhibit of collected art and works, refreshments provided. Okay, interesting. These are my kind of discounts. Silver Dragon Dispensary, 30% off, purchases made on your birthday, must show ID, 15% off, edibles if you're willing to share. Share with whom? The uh, person selling you the stuff? <laughs> I mean, how can you prove that you're willing to share? 10% uh, off any purchase if you recite poetry during checkout. These are some eccentric um discounts a little steep but can you really put a price on a kid's <laughs> dreams for sale one thousand dollars <laughs> yeah it's a painting by ethan i guess that's his asking price <laughs> it looks like no one no one wanted to buy it for until now nice contribution gabe gabe was here gabe <laughs> Well, I mean, at least he left traces of his life behind. People uh, certainly will remember him. Gabe was here. Um, okay, I don't want to leave just yet. What do we got here? Magazines. Now, let me have a look at the magazine first. God, put some clothes on. <laughs> Mary Jane magazine. Try this new growing trick for big voluptuous nugs. Which vape is right for you? Check out this buyer's guide. High and dry. How to tell if you're buying waterlogged wheat. 
How long does THC really stay in your system? Are there some very um, important problems and questions are answered in this magazine, apparently. Well, I guess it fits the establishment. It blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. Hmm. Haven Springs CEO, Silver Dragon Newsletter. Hi, everyone. As you may have heard, someone very close to me has recently passed away. The last few days have been very hard on me and Ethan, but we're doing our best to keep our heads up. So many of you have reached out with kind words and that has meant the world. I cannot thank you enough for your support. I'll try to open the store for a few hours every afternoon, but things will probably be a little sporadic for the next few weeks. Sorry for any inconvenience and thank you in advance for your patience, your friendly neighborhood but tender Charlotte. Okay, so it's been a few days since um, Gabe died. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Silver Dragon Strain List Sativa Blue Foria, a strong euphoric sativa to stimulate creativity. Stairway to Haven. A blissful, mellow high smoke with munchies. Indica, purple sublime, a relaxing indica delivering full body relaxation while taking the edge of the mind. Sandman, a high CBD strain to relax the body and mind alike. Hybrids, Etheria, a sativa heavy hybrid to restore a balance of focus and bliss. Intergalactic vibe, an indica heavy hybrid that blends euphoria and relaxation. That blends euphoria and relaxation. Think about that for a moment. <laughs> okay. Stairway to Haven. <laughs> believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, um, pun score maybe like four out of ten. You're looking creepy. The That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. <laughs> Fair enough. And a cactus. There's something you don't see in Portland. <laughs> I guess so. I really love Charlotte's style. Uh, very colorful. See uh, Harmon. <laughs> okay, apparently that's the only one we can look at. I mean, really, there's more artworks in here. Is this also part of your store? Oh yeah, it is. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. Um, okay, we got more merchandise here. Let me have a look at the marijuana tea. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day? I wouldn't know. Gummies. Given the circumstances, I could definitely go for a few of these. What do they do? Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging, like, three hours a night. Pro tip? Insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Oh, so... Any idea what's keeping you up? They're against insomnia. Interesting. Okay. And... Well, let's have a look at the weed. These bougie dispensaries are going to put all the creepy dudes named Gene out of business. <laughs> okay, um, oh, hang on a second. There's more over here. And which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies? <laughs> well, maybe you have like a special part in your brain that other people do not have. And that's what is making people glow. Charlotte's office studio. Okay, um, sure, we are not supposed to go in there. 
Um, so, no, we're not quite done yet. We have some t-shirts over here. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. She even has, like, shirts with her logo on them. Probably cost more than my bus ticket. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can really buy much here. <laughs> you only had to browse, not to buy. Okay, um, looks like we are done. I have checked out all of this, right? I'm pretty sure I have. So, let's leave again. What's going on over there? Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Um, right, but I remember that I could do some other stuff as well. Um, visit Steph at the record store. Investigate the flower shop. Well, but first, um, I need to find the record store again. Okay, it's right across the street. It's fine. I love being on hold. I love this song. Nah. Finally, cancel AAA membership. <sighs> no, I, I said cancel. Cancel. Not transfer. <laughs> cancel. Representative. Representative. A person. <laughs> I just want to talk to a person. I guess it's fine. I love being. He's on having hold. some problems with the automatic answering machine, and he's angry. Finally, cancel AAA membership. No, I, I said cancel. Oh dear. Yikes. Oh dear. Cancel. Maybe we should get away from that. We don't want that to affect us. Oh, bench girl. What is bench girl doing? Okay, she's blue. Oh, it's that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling bad for <laughs> me. Well, I mean, it just means they care. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Okay, let's do it now, or else she will just keep telling me to do it. I guess I can still look around this place a bit more later. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. I'm sure she is. But before we go and look for her, let's look at other stuff. Oh, Valkyrie. Val, I just want to be friends. Uh, better leave her alone for now. Helpful. Be back in five or ten, maybe fifteen. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't help much because we do not know how long this has been here. Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Comp book. Another issue of legendary monster hunter Thanor. I'm guessing it's the same issue that we have. Oh no, this looks different. It's like a, a, a next a next uh, volume. Time to pay time to pay visit to an old friend. Snap, or should I say, an old enemy? Ooh, Some kind of troll or. Orc? You don't belong here, Monster Slayer. And then we got an epic battle. I'm not leaving here till I get answers. You won't be leaving at all. <laughs> that was a good comeback. More epic battle. No. Where is the Sky Sword? Fine, I'll tell you. The sword was last seen in the city of Canaris. Canaris, but it's infested with 
Where spiders? Where spiders? All who quest for that sword lose something dear to them. But I'm destined to save the realm with a sky sword. Good thing you won't be questing alone. I'll win. Okay, apparently Thano has an ally. Okay, nice. Also, the ally is carrying like a liar. Are you going to sing your opponents to death? Gabe was hoping I'd get back into playing. Maybe I will. Yeah, maybe you should. Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's health. You don't say. Call your councilmen. Tell them to vote no on local ballot measure 39. Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's health. Keep our mountain standing tall. Okay, so this is against um, selling the property to the mine. Because that's what this town needs. More mining. And this is a note again, okay. Seen that already? Um, okay. Anything new on the bulletin board? Chrissy looks sweet. It would definitely be wrong to claim someone else's lost dog. <laughs> right? Uh, Red Rock, Summer Concerts, Ramirez Brothers, Raccoon Removal. Have these masked critters taken up residence in your home? Call the Ramirez Brothers, we'll get them out. Found dog, golden retriever. Attack says Chrissy. Think she's small enough to be a lap dog. Please call before my family gets attached. Isn't that the one that was missing? Um, uh, the, the person who posted on the social media page? I mean, someone was looking for a dog, right? It's gotta be her. I do believe it also had like uh, a colored neck band. And how many dogs can be missing in this place? Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. Okay, some of this stuff is still the same as before. Haven't listened to Firewalk in a while. I like their old <laughs> stuff better anyway. Of course. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. And, well... There's Steph, but before we go and try to talk to her... I hope we all get to see more adventures of Thanor. What else do we got around here? A hoodie guy. The breakup section, huh? That's rough, buddy. Oh, they have a dedicated breakup section. Uh, he seems to be sad. I guess blue means kind of sad. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. Chrissy. Wait, yeah, that's a dog. Isn't that the name of the found dog? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a dog. Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe instead of looking at breakup songs, you should have read the Hi, bulletin. I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. I is she there now? Oh, awesome. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Can I pick her up today? No sweat. Take your time. I'll wait. Okay, well, I guess we reunited him with his dog. <laughs> um... And Steph said she wanted to see me. She must be here somewhere. Yeah, I found her, but I wanted to make sure that I looked at everything else as well. Haven's favorite and only choice for modern rock. I figured that this might be the only radio station playing that kind of music around here. I'm glad Gabe convinced her to stay. Now the question is... Is she going to stay now? Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? 
He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were going to take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him in Thanor. Um, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Hmm. Gravius, Lord of the Underworld. Storm, Reather, the Undead. All pretty good. But I like the Lord of the Underworld better. Cravius looks pretty badass. Go with that. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. So that's why you wanted me to come here to pick an enemy for hey, uh, Haven listeners, the lab. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike, but first, a few announcements. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. Admission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. <laughs> okay, she made her announcement. Now, she wanted us to check out... Um... The stuff over here again, right? Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more <laughs> than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Well, I guess it makes sense since you kind of play the guitar. The bard. Name? No name. Oh, I'm supposed to fill it in. Race half elf, class bard. Abilities distortion field or healing serenade. Level 1, health points 10. How did you meet Thena? Huh. Okay. So I need to fill in the blanks. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. Okay. Um. I see, I have different choices. Arwen, oh that's the name from the comic. And I mean the the person in the comic had like a liar, so I guess she was supposed to be a bard. Now the question is, do I want to just insert myself into Thana's comic? Was Arwen in the comic inspired by Alex to begin with? Or am I going to take someone else's role here? <laughs> Alto Alexandra. That's literally her real name. That would be boring. <laughs> I guess I'll go with Alwyn. And I hope that the bard in the comic is supposed to be her. <laughs> How about a throwback to Ethan's old buddy? Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Hmm. Distortion Field Healing Serenade. Well, I mean, the question is, do we have any other healers in our party already? You always need a healer, um, but usually only one. <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll go with a healer just in case no one else picked a healing uh, skill. Healing the, Serenade it is. Let's go with the useful How did I skill. meet Thanor? Heroic story, funny story. <laughs> um, hmm. I wish I knew more details about the stories, but I think I'll go with a funny one. I mean, a half elf bard. A wolf and an ogre walk into a bar. It's kind of funny. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> I, I think she's not impressed with her own just story. Might work. Can I, like, read the funny story now? Let's hope I can do Alwyn justice. Okay, I can. 
A wolf and an ogre walk into a bar. There I was, regaling patrons with a ballad of the monster slayer Thano. Little did I know the wolf's cousin had lost its life to Thano. The vengeful beast jumped me, pinning me against the stage just as all hope seemed lost. Thano arrived. He took my loot and swung it at the wolf. The wolf opened his big gullet, swallowing the instrument in one gulp. Luckily, the loot caused the wolf great indigestion. It stalked away, tail between its legs, and the night was saved. <laughs> well, I guess your character is going to be like the comic relief here, huh? The annoying bard who trails the hero. <laughs> okay. Um, is that all we were supposed to do here? Helpful. Let's have a look at... Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, apparently finished and crossed out, which means um, I might be able to go and look for Mac now. Uh, let's maybe have a quick look at this place again. Maybe I'll get to hear her play sometime. The drinking bird is still moving. Still going. <laughs> Okay, um, looks like the town of Haven Springs would like to remind listeners of the upcoming council vote regarding mining in Haven. Further information is available at Town Hall. On these warm spring days, do you ever just want to be buried alive in an avalanche of sweet, delicious mm -hmm. ice cream? If your answer is yes, you are super weird. Please stay home. <sighs> the rest of us can grab a delicious, normal portion frozen treat down at Avalanche Ice Cream, family owned and operated since 1993. Still with us, kind Haven listeners? Good. Your reward is music. Apparently she has to run some ads every now and then. <laughs> well, I mean, someone has to pay for all of this, right? It's sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. Right. Um, okay. I guess... We're done here. Let's leave and let's see if we can find Mac somewhere. Or maybe just look around town a little bit more. There might be more stuff going on. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. And I just got a message from Steph. Hmm, I wonder what Steph's working on. It looks cool. I should DM her to find out more and see how I can help. Craviest Lord of the Underworld. This doesn't happen to have anything to do with your last post, does it? Shoot, if only there was some way to find out. All right, fine, I'll bite. Whatever it is, looks like it's gonna kick him dead. You hush. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, the enemy that I chose. Um, hey, saw so what you did with the love. Thank you so much. Of course, I think Ethan's gonna love it. Okay, so he won't object to me using one of his characters. Okay, we have some people over here. Sorry about today. It's not your fault. But I was really looking forward to climbing Teller's Peak. Yeah, these are the same people from the pub. I think the trails will be closed for a while. Someone died up in the ravine a few days ago. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, we can try again when I come out with Mom and Dad for the 4th of July. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, she's not happy that uh, her hike was cancelled. Why should one accident close all the trails? Duh. What a wasted vacation. Yes, we're all suffering here. Well, she's clearly more concerned with her vacation. Okay, we have already looked at that guy. Um, we have seen the Tibet shop, right? So I guess I will just continue in this direction. Let's see what else we can find. I don't get it. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? I looked over the budget. 
If we only open three days a week, we'll be able to scrape by. Is that it? Are we always just going to scrape by? Things will get better. Piratey Peaches is making an actual profit, remember? Fine. You were right about Piratey Peaches. <laughs> oh, I was right, huh? <laughs> How do those words taste? Not like peaches. We should push the rum raisin harder. It's surprisingly addictive. You haven't been putting actual <laughs> rum in it again, have you? Uh, no. Anyway, I took out a radio ad too. That'll help. I heard it. Please say it's not the one you read to me the other day. That was so <laughs> weird. It's not weird, it's fun. Don't you like fun? Sunny. It makes an impression. Don't worry, okay? It certainly this made an impression. Make a comeback. Trust me. I sure hope you're right. Okay, let's see. Um, she's angry and he's worried apparently. Uh, can I have a look inside you? Have to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. He must be exhausted. So, he might not be quite as convinced that they're going to make it after all, huh? And what about her? We're losing our business. But it's like everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. Hope they figure it out. Yeah, maybe putting on a brave face is not like the way to go about it, but just, you know, show that you are taking it seriously. Oh, this is a flower shop. Okay, um, I was supposed to go here, right? Let's make sure we have seen everything else. I have to imagine Gabe would be amused to know he made it in the newspaper. <laughs> Investigation into accidental death ongoing. Haven's upcoming council vote what you need to know. Okay, can't read the rest of the article. Um Okay. Yeah, this is a flower shop. Still haven't found Mac. Jed suggested I check the flower shop. He's not in the vicinity. So let's look inside. Oh, it's the old lady from like the first episode. Eleanor? Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Um, adjusting, I suppose. Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. <laughs> uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. Okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now what was I? Uh oh. What's going on? <laughs> She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Yeah, something is going on with her. Um, I mean, there's stuff I can look at, but I'm sure this will still be here afterwards. So maybe let's take care of her first. Figure out why she's afraid. Huh. 
Huh. Well, let's see. Something about the register? All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. Oh. So she's having some problems with her memories. Um. Is there anything else we can look at? Yep, over here. The doctor the said doctor I had, said more, I time, had more time, but everything, everything is becoming, is becoming so, so out of, out of order. order. Hmm, okay. I can look at the sign. If they know if they about know my about condition, my condition. They'll make me close this place. Ooh. Who was they? Like everyone else? I mean, sooner or later, they will find out, I'm sure. Um. Is there anything inside here? Oh, yeah, there is. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Okay. She's been phoning with Riley. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out. out. Okay, so she, she doesn't know. Can't find out. Well, that is kind of terrifying. Like a visual representation of her losing her memories. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Yeah, I don't know. That's a medical problem and it might not be one that uh, anyone can solve. You know, if it's like Alzheimer's or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. How does she hide all of this? Hmm, well, let's see what we can do to help. Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior <laughs> moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Retrace your steps, ask Riley, think harder, focus on something else. Um, she doesn't want to ask Riley because she doesn't want her to know about it. Think harder is probably not going to work. So. Let's let's try to retrace your steps. That sounds like a decent advice. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> it's fine. Hey. I I want to help. Okay, what would Eleanor have done first? Well, I guess she would have opened the store. First. <laughs> um, apparently the, the letters are just turning into nonsense now. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Something better. Must have 
Restricted. Okay. We can do this. Okay, so she came over here to open her mail. And something distracted her. Could it have been like the telephone? Like Riley calling her? So she went here to take the call. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes! I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. For example, what about the picture? Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Goodness, what was the order for? Well, we have seen like some ready flower bouquet over here. So maybe this was the order. I can't really see what's written on, on that piece of paper. But it looks like something you would use for a wake or a funeral. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. Okay, so this I is her order. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. Um, well, maybe we can find the answer here, at the register. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. It should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Okay, well, there's our answer. Lilies flowers, $89. Arrangement in standing basket. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. Okay, looks like we did it. <laughs> You'd figure it out. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex, you're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. Oh. Oh. She forgot about... Oh, she forgot about Gabe's death. Tell her about Gabe, spare the pain. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, sooner or later she will find out about it, I'm sure. It's not something that you can hide from her forever. The question is, should Alex be the one telling her? I mean, I don't really know her that well. So you could argue it's not really her job or responsibility to do it. Or some people who know her better might have a better way of handling it. Then again, she's the one who can sense people's feelings. So I guess that does kind of qualify her as well. <sighs> Yeah, um, I mean, yes, I can spare her the pain, but at some point she will find out about it again. So maybe I should just do it now. At least I can kind of try to be sensitive about it. Otherwise she might find out about it like by accident and it's going to be even worse, so... I guess I'll tell her about it. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe 
was wake. Oh. I... She forgot about it. Missed it. Alex. I'm... I'm so sorry. Hey, it's... Um... Excuse me. <laughs> Well, that went well. <laughs> okay. That sucked. But at least I told her the truth. Yeah, like I said, sooner or later she will find about it anyway and she's going to be upset, so... <laughs> Maybe it's better to get over with it. Okay, well, um, we still haven't found Mac, but um, we... Uh, helped her find her order again <laughs> and then we told her about Gabe's death and now she's upset but okay um, this is actually a good moment to make another cut and I guess we will try to keep looking for Meg in the next episode of course I will again look around this place and see if something new has uh, occurred but for now let's call it a day as always thank you for watching and see you again next time